always ask me how I got into computer science. When I was a kid, I was always interested in video games, playing on the computer. I was introduced to computer science through networking. I was a part of our Cisco department in high school. Up into high school, I never knew what I wanted to do with that interest. My school offered this AP computer science course where they taught about these are where these video games and things like that come from. I first got into computer science my junior year of high school and I loved it. For my very first Hello World, Hello World project, it was fantastic. I enjoy computer science because it's the aspects of technology, so everything that's going on behind the scenes with your computers, your networks, your routers, your playstations, whatnot. So a common misconception that everybody has about computer science is it's something you're alone for. You're just in front of a computer by yourself just working on code. So much coding is done in teams and in groups. In fact, I had a partner that I had to work with and our code had to match up with each other. We had a team lead and about 10 to 15 people on the team. Coding is not something you do by yourself. It is definitely a team sport. So my parents always told me not to go for a job just because of the money, uh, but go into a job because it's something that you like to do. But in computing careers, the money is definitely an added bonus. So the main point of going to college is to have a career. It's to get a job so you can support yourself and get that move on. I know some corporations that will give you $140,000 just as a starting position. With a computer science degree, you are almost always guaranteed a job. I had dinner with recruiters from a major tech firm one day, and they told me that they would give a prospect $100,000 cash signing bonus in order to keep that prospect from going to work at one of their competitors. $100,000 with your name on it right when you start. The current and future job market for computing professionals is hot. You really don't need a lot to get into it. You just need a laptop and some Wi-Fi and an idea and you can make it happen. Computing gives you the ability to start your own business. Facebook and Snapchat were started in a dorm room with two or three guys. The only thing that limits you is your own imagination. So you never know what you could be doing in the future. You might be working on that new app. You can literally make any kind of program that you can set your mind to. You might be working on a new project that would completely change the world. With CS, there really is a broad spectrum of careers. How many fields outside of computing intersect with so many other things? You can find your own niche. Music, art, sports, fashion, business, the environment, health, education, public policy. I mean, you name it, you can do computing work in that area that you choose. In like every aspect of my life and I would assume you guys' lives as well, there's technology. Therefore, there's gonna need to be someone who can code whatever that technology is. These days, millennials are struggling to get jobs right out of school. This is not the case in computing. Having a background in computing gives you tons of options in the job market. About two thirds of all newly created STEM job openings will be in computing. About half of all the total STEM jobs will also be in computing. Computer science jobs are here to stay.